if it is or if it ain't, it's going to come out. Good morning, everybody. It's your girl, Miracle Sims, and you're listening to God, Sex, and Love. You're the little of inspiration, the juice. It is December the 21st, 2023, and today the topic is success. <laughs> happy Thursday, everybody. Yes, happy Thursday. I hope that you guys had a wonderful Wednesday. Mine was just fine. I mean, yeah, mine was just chill overall. The episode that I thought I was going to record yesterday did not happen. <laughs> um, the people rescheduled. So, hey, you know, um, that gave me a free day um, to rest as well as, um, you know, at least talk about doing some things with my son. I was going to let him do some online shopping yesterday, um, but that didn't necessarily pan out exactly the way I wanted it to. So I'm thinking about possibly taking him to the store today, um, but we'll see. We'll see what the Lord do. <laughs> um, but anywho, so yeah, that was one thing. Um, but I did wrap up the evening yesterday with watching a bunch of little cheesy Christmas movies, you know, Hallmark style um, movies and whatnot. And, you know, again, turning on the little lights on the Christmas tree and me and NJ had that little time in the living room and whatnot. We've been doing that a little bit more, I would say, than we did last year. Because I was watching Christmas movies and stuff last year, but I was more so just, like, watching it on my phone by myself, da 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 So this year it's been more so, like, in the living room with the tree on and, you know, a whole thing. And NJ says, now he's like, I want to watch one of your Christmas movies. Because I guess that's more of the, again, Hallmark adult-style Christmas movies. And then... You know, of course, he was choosing little random cartoons. But yesterday, he just kept choosing, you know, the, you know, mommy's type of Christmas movies. So, that was interesting. And I know at some point he fell asleep and then he woke back up and it was a whole thing. But anyway, um, that was the main, I guess you would say, highlight uh, of my day yesterday for the most part. Um, I'm trying to think, was there anything else of significance outside of the juice? Uh <laughs> I could think of, um, I mean, well, yeah, technically, okay, so this is going to lead us to our conversation or whatever, but um, another thing that happened last night, or I ended up sharing um, the most recent um, Shout Out Atlanta interview, so thank you again to Shout Out Atlanta for wanting to feature your girl again, um, and everything like that, and thank you to each and every person that has taken the time to respond at all to the social media posts about it. Um, and everything like that. And, you know, I appreciate everything that the Lord has done. I know even when I sent the, um, information to my virtual assistant, Miss Elizabeth, (laughs) um, when I sent the information to her, she was saying like, wow, this is your abundant season. And I'm like, you know, well, abundant 2023, y'all know I've been saying it all year, right? I've been saying it ever since last year around this time, but um, you know, even with all the great, amazing things that have happened this year, um, you know, again, I have to just give all glory and honor to the Lord because at the end of the day, um, again, whatever y'all are seeing in me, yeah, I believe that it was instilled in me by, you know, my mother and, and gleaned and, and things of that nature, or I gleaned from her or whatever the case may be. Um, but at the end of the day, the Lord has done you know, all the things, right? You know, he's, he's created me. He put me in a position. Um, he gave me the wisdom and whatnot to make the choices. And that's all I can really say at the end of the day. And I know again, um, in this world that, that wants to categorize success and categorize, um, all these things into what they think it should be. Um, I guess I just took some time to reflect on that this morning because I was talking about it in my article, um, how the Lord has allowed me to redefine what success looks like 
to me and my life and things of that nature, which I'm totally grateful for um, and everything like that. So I was talking about that in the article. But I guess with a couple of other things on my heart and mind this morning, when the Lord put success on my heart and mind, I was like, okay, you know, even though I feel like I've already talked about success, who knows how many times, um, and I don't know how much different information that I can give you other than, hey, you know, if we commit our work to the Lord and if we, you know, again, do things his will, his way, then you're going to seek success again. Pastor Sammy said it best back in the day during my time in the cultivation period. Uh, that again, the quote that tur- turned them around my life, honestly. Um, if you make God's wants your wants, you're going to get what you want. And I am a living witness of that testimony, you know. Um, and again, we may not believe that. We may not be able to really receive that. We might think it's different, X, Y, and Z. I'm just telling you what's happened in my life, right? Um, again, I'm just one person. Now, who knows? Many other people may have the same testimony. The more that they committed their word to the Lord, the more that they focused on, again, the things of God and things of that nature, they saw the quote-unquote success. But, um, you know, again, I think even this kind of coincides with the conversation about yesterday, um, when we were talking about uh, the resistance, uh, change resistance is futile and things of that nature. And even the other day, talking about who's in charge. Um, you know, I mean, I guess I, on one hand, I feel like I'm beating a dead horse here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but on the other hand, I don't, I don't know who's listening to the sound of my voice. I don't know who you are, right? If you're watching this, if you're listening to this, whatever the case may be, um, Perhaps you're someone new. So here it is for you, friend. Just a nice reminder that at the end of the day, if we start to focus on the will of God and and what he wants to do with us, for us, and through us, then you're going to see the quote-unquote success. You're going to see, you're going to be prosperous. You're going to be living in abundance. You're going to be, um, again, having joy, peace, hope, love, and all the fruits of the Spirit in the midst of turmoil in the midst of uh, you know situations that don't feel good or look good right um at least that's what's happened with me and I don't think that the Lord's just gonna just do it just with one little person you know what I'm saying I think again whatever the Lord is doing again with me for me and through me he can do with you for you and through you um I feel led to touch on um a couple of things I've seen recently, but let me get to some verses and then I'm gonna see what the Lord do. All right. So here goes some verses that were standing out to me this morning to share what I've already kind of quoted, but here it is. Proverbs 16 and three, commit your work to the Lord and your plans will be established. Simple verse, short and sweet. It don't say maybe it says it will. Um, Again, like when the Lord presented that question to me or presented that phrase to me that let me know, hey, the only thing that matters or the only thing that's going to last is what you do for me. You know, again, that's another thing that got me on this path. You know, I was like, well, Lord, I want to do something that's going to last. And here I am today um, living out this next verse that I felt led to write to you guys or share with you all. It's Psalm 37 and 4. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Again, during the cultivation period, during uh, about what 10 years ago, 10, 11 years ago, when I was sitting on in my apartment on my own, praying, you know, for a husband, praying for love, praying for a career, praying for basically everything that I'm living today, um, you know, and not understanding why I wasn't receiving the desires of my heart feeling like something was missing, achieving goals, doing things, but then also feeling like something was off. Um, Again, as I started to delight myself in the Lord, here I am today again, like the verse says, with the desires of my heart. So again, I I guess as I was writing down these verses today, I, I was just, I guess, asking the question like, why don't we take these verses seriously? Like we read them, we'll sing them, we'll quote them, you know, we might wear them on a t-shirt, but then it's like, we don't take it at face value. Like it it literally is saying, you know, what to do in order to get the things that we quote unquote desire. 
and we still just like just kind of fly by the wayside we still just gotta get swayed by again i guess the opinions of others or we let whatever it is again steal the seed um that the lord is trying to plant so i hope that today these seeds are falling on fresh fertile good soil and that they are going to reap a bountiful harvest um if you all take heed to the words of god um not what I'm saying and nothing like that. I'm just saying go read the Bible for yourself and, and you know, apply it to your life. I feel like, again, yesterday I was touching on this uh, when I gave you guys the article. Um, let me see. Where was it? Uh, maybe it wasn't yesterday. Maybe it was the day before. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah, the day before, uh, the, the juice that came out on the 19th, the one who's in charge, um, one of the articles at gotquestion.org, um, was an article called, um, what is the key to applying the Bible to my life? Uh, I, if you already checked it out, great. You know what I mean? I hope that you guys are encouraged and inspired in applying those things. But if you're just now hearing about it, then, Hey, you know, again, there's a lot of things that we can do to apply the word to our life today. I know we like to think about it as history or we like to think about it as oh future or we like to think about it as oh just some good words whatever the case may be or some good advice but what is good advice that you don't take? <laughs> what is you know good words whatever that you don't apply? So I mean just something to think about y'all um and everything like that. I mean um, before I share with you all this next verse, let me go ahead and share with you guys the, the thing that was standing out to me this morning. So, y'all know uh, my background's in theater. I, I, you know, I am an actress and everything of that nature. And again, the thing about that is I know that people think about, you know, Oscars and Grammys and all of the amazing awards and things of that nature, right? They think about all of that, like, oh, being on TV and in the uh, you know, blockbuster movies and, you know, they, they got all these titles and things of that nature. Um, but like I said in my article, <laughs> um, you know, um, uh, the one that came out yesterday that one of the things about me is that was never necessarily my goal. Like, sure. I would love to, you know, I guess be recognized for being good at what I do X, Y, and Z, but you know, it was never my goal to go for those things. It was more so my goal to perform for a living. It was my goal to, you know, um, uh, create and, and do the things that I've set out to do. And and I am living that today. Again, I'm a living witness of, again, the Lord using me. But even with that, right, um, you, you get basically the very interesting thing about like when I first, first, and no, no shade to nobody, you know, in my past. Okay. Maybe I'll keep some of this to myself, but I'm going to share a little bit. Um, in the beginning, <laughs> a young miracle when I was in sixth grade and I decided that I wanted to go for acting. Um, everybody, I'll just say it like this. Everybody wasn't necessarily, um, supportive of that idea. Um, and it was very interesting because throughout my childhood, it didn't matter what I imagined myself doing. It was always kind of like celebrated. It was always, I mean, my mom, she always, you know, would encourage me and whatever, you know, I, I wanted to do. I remember at some point I wanted to do nails, which is so interesting because now I have my, you know, nail polish business, X, Y, and Z, and I do my nails all the time. Um, but at some point, I as when I was younger, I was thinking about that I would have a nail salon or something like that, which I guess I have like an online version of a nail salon and encouraging other people to do it themselves. But anyway, um, basically, growing up, you know, I always had my mom's support and things like that. And so I'm not referring to her. But I would just say, um, at some point, again, when I became in sixth grade and I was like, I want to be an actor, um, actress, whatever the case may be, that didn't necessarily have um, everybody's full support. Um, and for whatever reason, again, that just put, like me always being the underdog or me always being, um, you know, feeling like people were trying to put me on a box, whatever the case may be. I guess it pushed me to the next level. It pushed me to you know, again, achieve and do the things that was in my heart and mind. Not to just show people up and say, ha ha, I did it, but to not let anything deter me from achieving the goal, right? Um, 
Now, with that being said, of course, you know, at, you know, as a young miracle, I probably thought about New York and L.A. and all this type of stuff. And then ended up after I got out of school and, and went to college and things like that. Y'all know I ended up in Florida, of all places, right? Um, a place that, you know, my, my family and I had been several times. As matter of fact, living exactly in the area where we used to go to the mall. Uh, matter of fact, we might be going there next week. You know what I'm saying? That's just how, you know, familiar, uh, well somewhat familiar I was with the area and things like that. Um, obviously, I got more familiar as I lived there. But anyway, I'm, I'm sharing all these things to say that at the end of the day, again, um, you know, people grow up with dreams. People grow up with an idea of what they think, again, their life should be. And um, so um, basically at some point this week, I, I don't know if it was yesterday. I can't remember if it was exactly yesterday. It might have been. But some of you all may be familiar with um, some of the, the information that's coming out these days. Um, people are having things to say about being in entertainment, the entertainment biz, right? Um, oh, I know what I was going to tell you that. So the reason I told you that backstory is because it was funny to me as a kid how people say, oh, you know, you can't do this, or you can't do that, or, you know, it's not, you're not going to make money or whatever they say about the entertainment business but then at the same time they they go watch movies they go to shows and then they watch tv and stuff all day so you're telling me that the business i want to get into is not i guess worth it or whatever but then you patronize it all the time <laughs> you know what i'm saying so that was interesting you know to grow up in that dynamic and and you know have naysayers and have you know, again, not full support or whatever. But anyway, what with that being said, right? Um, but on the flip side, right? People that are in that industry, people that are, uh, you know, again, at the level of success that people strive to and climb to and, and do all the things, you know, even sacrifice whatever they're doing, right? To, to try to achieve the things that they, they want to achieve in that industry in particular, um, I find it interesting now where people are talking about, um, you know, the issues, the behind the scenes situations. Um, they might not be talking about all the stuff, but, you know, they're definitely talking about like the financial differences and things of that nature. Um, I mean, I hate to just, I don't, I don't too much name drop and stuff, but I, I just want to, I guess, address the situation because there's a couple of names that's in my heart and mind right now. Um, stories that y'all may have heard basically um so y'all may have seen the uh video of Miss Taraji P Henson uh, crying recently about um I guess getting out of the industry or considering it or whatever the case may be I did not hear the whole article or nothing like that I did not you know hear the whole video but I did see a clip of it because you know how Instagram and social media be and someone sent it to me actually as well and um she was crying about the industry crying about not feeling like she was um, value than, you know, I guess the amount of money that she gets versus, I guess, other people and things of that nature. Um, and how, you know, people think it's all of this and that, but then you're not really seeing what people say or whatever the case may be. Um, and then on the flip side, again, another individual y'all may know and love, right? Um, Tyler Perry, you know, we done heard, uh, the things in regards to him trying to buy, for example, I saw it this morning about, you know, um, BET and, you know, the things that he had to say about that felt like it was, I guess, a disrespectful process and, and things of that nature, right? And, of course, people, um, you know, attributed to them both being, you know, black people and things of that nature. Um, you know, now, hey, this might not be popular, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, I think these two individuals came into my heart and mind this morning, again, when I'm talking about this conversation about success, because... From the outside looking in, right, and I know we always do this, we look at other people's lives and be like, they they got it all, right? Um, y'all, again, y'all could be looking at me talking about the same thing. Oh, Miracle, you got it all, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, and I don't know each one of them individual lives to say that they don't, you know, have a relationship with God. I'm not going to say all of that. Um, I'm just going to say that when it comes to, again, this question of success, we got these two individuals that have achieved the highest of the high, you know? Um, I don't know what all the awards Miss um, Taraji has acquired. I want to say, didn't she get a star recently? I, I'm not sure. You know, I may, I'm not sure of all the awards she may have you know, acquired. But I know she's done a lot of work, you know, um, 
She's been in a lot of great movies, you know, things of that nature. And then we know, again, this is Sex of Tyler Perry. You know, I mean, everybody's talking to me about him all the time, how I need to watch his documentary and things like that. Um, and, you know, we know that he's created plays and movies and shows and all kinds of great success. Opened up a studio, you know, all these great, amazing things. Um, yet they are not obviously, I guess, at peace with whatever situation they're in because they're not able to, I guess, achieve or do or whatever the things that they desire. Um, and again, I'm not saying anything about whether they were God or not. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying people look so highly of, um, in these, in these type of individuals, right. Feeling like they are the pinnacle. Right. And then you then you see and hear what they have to say about being the pinnacle. And it's not good, you know. Um, and so I guess one question is like, I mean, I know we talk we can talk about racism. We can talk about money. We can talk about all of that. But, you know, how is it? You know what? Lord, OK, I'm, I'm just trying to be obedient here. So how is it that like, you know, again, I'm thankful and grateful for exactly where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, hey, uh, I'm I'm blessed to again when my article came out, the individual, um, the the theater that has hired me to come and do their show next year, they they shouted me out, and that's a blessing to have again people that enjoy working with you. You know what I mean? Like things of that nature, or or looking forward to working with you because we haven't even done anything yet. All I did was meet with them. And, and they, again, are speaking so highly, they're excited and I am too. And, you know, it's, it's an amazing thing. And, and then even again, just waking up and doing the juice in the morning, like sure. Every now and then, at least this week, I've been kind of slow to move. You know what I'm saying? I've been kind of like, Oh, you know, I guess if I'm going to take this vacation next week and stuff like that, it's been like, Oh, you know, (laughs) um, Looking forward to, to the vacation, but at the same time, again, doing the juice is one of the most fulfilling things, if not the f- most fulfilling thing, you know, in my life. And, and it's just taking out time with the Lord and sharing it. That's literally all the juice is, you know. Um, and so I guess I just want to encourage you and inspire you that if you're listening to the sound of my voice today, again, you don't want to get to or have, right, everything that you dreamed of. And, and then find that you don't have love, joy, peace, hope, and all that. That's, I guess, the juice at the end of the day. Like, I, I, you know, as you, again, focus on the things of the Lord, delight yourself in the Lord, things of that nature, you'll find your, yourself having, again, the fruits of the Spirit in the midst of trials and tribulation. Um, and I'm, I'm not saying anything about those individuals. Again, they might have the Lord. They might got that relationship. I'm not. All I'm saying is when you see and hear the fruit of what they're saying about their career, about their life, about whatever, it doesn't align with, like, people that are at there, you know. Um, again, you know, uh, people in impoverished places have the, again, love, joy, hope, peace, um, in spite of their situations. And we wonder why, you know, but we we fight so hard to achieve and and cl- climb over the next person or whatever the case may be to achieve what other people deem as success. So I hope that encourages you, inspires you to just see that, you know, um, just to hear that explanation and see what those differences look like. I mean, you guys can go and hear from these people yourselves. Go look up that interview of Mr. Taraji P. Henson. Go check out the things that Tyler Perry had to say about trying to buy BET, you know, and they're not the only ones because they're, they're all, I'm sure all different races have said things about achieving the quote unquote highest of the high and then still feeling the lowest of the low. And so at the end of the day, it's like Solomon said, at the end of the day, it's all, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, vanity, you know, it's all vanity at the end of the day. Um, it's futile at the end of the day, um, to, to do anything, I guess, without God. That, that's, that's ultimately the juice this morning of what I, I have to share about that. Um, but let me get, share with you all one more verse, I believe. And it's, uh, do, 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 do. it's James, it's James 4 and 10. It says, humble yourselves before the Lord and he will exalt you. 
So, friends, I mean, you guys can go deeper. There's a verse in the go deeper section that I put in there. It's Proverbs 3, 1 through 4. You guys can reflect on that. Let that marinate on your heart, souls, and minds. And there were so many verses that I decided to just share with you guys. Open Bible.info and just plug in the word success and see what verses stand out to you. Um, because, again, we can we can achieve all the things you can reach the highest of the high. You can get, you can have look at an egot <laughs> and get all the awards. But at the end of the day, um, like the Bible say, you know, what does it profit a man to gain the world and lose their soul? That's the juice. Y'all can reflect on all of that. But the Bible verse of today is Psalm one hundred and two. It says, "Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before His presence with singing." Friends, I hope you all enjoyed this juice this morning. Thank you so much for listening to God, Sex, and Love. Your daily dose of inspiration, the juice. I pray you guys can go forth and have a wonderful day. And I look forward to talking to you all tomorrow. If the Lord's will, just a reminder that tomorrow is Friday. So we have a new episode of the GSL Talk Show coming out at 7 p.m. It's with Miss Kimberly Boggio. And we call her um, episode From Divorce to Deliverance. So you guys can tune in to that tomorrow at 7 p.m. And y'all have a wonderful Thursday. And I look forward to talking to you all on Friday. If the Lord's will. Bye bye. Everyone is stuck at home, but life is still happening around us every day birthdays, anniversaries, holidays, and celebrations. Send your friends and family the gift of wine from the comforts of home. Wine shop at home with Miracle of Wine. Wine, gift baskets, wine accessories, and more at miracleofwine.com.